guys. Welcome to my commentary on the Marshall Way. I am Khalil Shabazz, founder and chief instructor of Black Tennis Jeet Kune Do, located here in Atlanta, Georgia. In the 1970s, there was a huge cultural explosion of martial arts in the black community. Martial arts schools were popping up all over the West Coast and the East Coast, as well as a few places in between. Most historians attribute this to the many black soldiers who were returning home from being stationed all throughout the Western Pacific, including Japan, Okinawa, Korea, and of course, Vietnam. Hollywood took notice of this cultural explosion and began to magnify it by infusing martial arts into black cinema. Arguably, 80 to 90% of the action-packed black exploitation movies had the star perform some sort of martial arts. While Hollywood magnified many, many more were left out of the limelight, never receiving their just due nor having their impact on the martial arts world justly acknowledged. With this being the case, I'd like to introduce you to some of the people who I refer to as the unsung pioneers of black martial artists. And these guys weren't actors. I'm talking real deal martial artists. Dr. Moses F. Powell was born January 13, 1941 to Moses and Athenia Powell. It was discovered during his late teen years that Dr. Moses Powell was a natural at anything he set his heart and mind on achieving. He excelled in the art of boxing and was easily handling the more experienced boxers. It was in Harlem, New York that he met his martial arts teacher, a little man named Florendo Visitacion, also known as Professor V. At that time, in 1954, he was not known to the martial arts world, but that did not stop Dr. Moses Powell from becoming his student. Dr. Powell was fascinated by the funny but serious little man who had the ability to destroy opponents much bigger than himself. Dr. Moses Powell himself was a big man with a big heart. He grew fond of his teacher and of the V Jitsu Ru V Jitsu Te martial art. Dr. Moses Powell loved Grand Professor very, very much and worked harder than any other student. He became so proficient at Grand Professor V's system of martial art that as a green belt, he was allowed to instruct and teach third and fourth degree black belts. Whenever he was asked, how was this possible? He would simply reply, it's because I did my homework and they did not. In 1960, then, Sensei Moses Powell began teaching his own system of self-defense. He named this system of his Self-Defense Complete. As his system evolved, in 1964, he renamed it Modern Jiu Jitsu. In 1965, Moses Powell was selected to perform a demonstration along with other martial artists at the World's Fair held in New York City. Finally, in 1968, Having presented this newly evolved system of his and receiving his teacher's permission to proceed, Sensei Moses Powell renamed his fighting system of self-defense and jiu-jitsu, Sanukas Ru. In 1969, a short black and white documentary was made about Sensei Moses Powell and his Sanukas Ru jiu-jitsu. The film was called Sanukas. With the coming of the early 1970s, Sensei Moses Powell began to travel and introduce his revolutionized version of jiu-jitsu to the people of Jamaica, Trinidad, Bermuda, Panama, Puerto Rico, and Nassau, Bahamas. In 1971, Sensei Moses Powell became the first martial artist invited to perform at the United Nations, and in 1973, the Benin Empire of West Africa awarded him the International Benin Award for his community work and efforts throughout the world. Sensei Moses Powell and his demo team were featured in the Panama Star newspaper in 1973 after being invited to participate in the National Martial Arts Demonstration sponsored by a Panamanian beer distributor company. The performance was so overwhelmingly well received that General Manuel Noriega prevented Sensei Moses Powell's plane from taking off and had a special military escort to the general's home. The general wanted Sensei Moses Powell to consider an offer to be in charge of the military hand-to-hand -hand combat training of the Panamanian National Guard. In 1974, Sensei Moses Powell returned to Panama to demonstrate again after a superb demonstration in Madison Square Garden for the Aaron Banks Oriental World of Self-Defense. It was in New York City at the Felt Forum in Madison Square Garden before a sold-out audience of 20,000 people that Sensei Moses Powell performed his now world-famous one-finger rollout. 
1975, he performed again at the Aaron's Bank Oriental World of Self-Defense and was also featured in a full-length martial arts documentary called The Warrior Within. This film was played in movie theaters all over the world, and it was during this time that he was introduced to the world as Master Moses Powell. Master Moses Powell also appeared in the movie Gordon's War. It was also during this time of the early to mid-70s that Master Moses Powell also established Sanukas schools on Atlantic Avenue in Brooklyn, New York, as well as in Hartford, Connecticut and various other places in and out of New York City. Master Moses Powell, also known as Musa Muhammad, had also established roots in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania during this time with the help of a good friend from the very famous Tong Dojo of Brooklyn, New York, Sensei Uthman Abdus Salam. In 1977, Master Moses Powell was inducted into the World Martial Arts Hall of Fame. In 1979, Master Moses Powell, along with his wife, Janice Hardy Powell, left New York to relocate in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. A longtime student named Rex Lee had come to live in Florida prior to Master Moses Powell and his family moving there. Two other students, Gino Alfarano and Veronica Walker, also left New York to join their teacher down in Florida. It was there in Fort Lauderdale that the new evolution of Sanukas Ru Jiu Jitsu took place. Unfortunately, Master Moses Powell passed away January 22, 2005. Dr. Moses Powell is and always will be the teacher of teachers. As you can see, Dr. Moses Powell was a legend. He touched a lot of hearts and minds with his vast knowledge, experience, and obviously he had a warm heart. Master Moses Powell, I salute you. Please seek out more information on Moses Powell. His story, like so many others, deserve to be heard. And always remember, each one, teach one. Peace. If you want more content like this, look up Black Phoenix Cheek Kune Do on Instagram and on YouTube. Follow me on IG and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. You can also find me on Facebook. And if you visit, make sure you like the page. If you want to train with me in person and you're in the Atlanta area, visit my website, Black Phoenix JKD, for my locations, class times, as well as my price list. If you aren't in the Atlanta area, consider signing up for my online training academy. And just the same, all of those details are on my website, Black Phoenix JKD. Lastly, if you have any questions, concerns, or considerations, you can private message me via any of those social media platforms, but you can also send me an email directly from my website. I want to thank you for tuning in. It's Khalil Shabazz for Black Phoenix Chi Kundo, and I will see you in class.